What's going on guys? Comes here back again on another MLB The Show 19 Diamond Dynasty video. This is another very interesting situation. You guys know, in general, the market has been real crazy all year long. For the fact of the matter, really, that we have so many good cards in the game. You know, we already have, you know, almost a full page of 99 overalls on the market, you know, just in the start of July. So what that means is there's still going to be really good diamond players that are going for cheap. And we are going to see some crazy stuff happen with the market. If you guys missed it, we got another new signature you know, signature pack update where you can now buy a second one. You know, last week on Friday, they introduced it the first time. And now they added a brand new Al K line for the rare tier. For the uh, mid tier, they added this 98 Ryan Braun. And then they also added this 96 Ian Kinzer to the base tier. These cards crashed the market even more. This pack being out once again crashed the market even more than it was before. And if you look at a guy like Ian Kinsler, he's only going for like 22k. He was going for even less last night, but guys like Curtis Granderson, I sold him yesterday to do uh, one of my squad builders, and good thing I did, because I sold him for about, I can check right here, 73,000. It's going for less than 50k right now. He crashed over 20,000. That's more so because two outfielders were released. And even the Ryan Braun, I believe, does not go for too much. Only 56. He was going for like 49 when I checked last night. Everything is real crazy. And I'm making this video because... I am almost 100% confident that we are going to see a stub sale happen within these next few days. Of course, it is just obvious at this point that it is going to happen because the prices of cards are so low that SDS wants wants to do something that one, will bring card prices back up, and two, this is the perfect time for them to suck hella money out of us because really, if you think about it, all these cards are going for so cheap. If they have a stub sale, say it's 50% off, for 150,000 stubs, so it'd be $50. People are gonna try to buy as many stubs as they can as quick as possible to try to snipe as many cards, get the cards for the cheapest possible, and you know, either keep them for their team or try to sell them after the stub sale ends, whatever uh, really could be the issue there. Um, so that is why I think that there is going to be a stub sale. Also, that historically, the last two years we've seen stub sales happen right around the fourth slash all star game. Last year, it was the All-Star Game. I believe it was the 13th or 14th of July. This time, of course, the All-Star Game is coming a little bit quicker this upcoming Wednesday. So... I believe on July 10th, uh, July 9th, July 10th, something like that. And then of course, July 4th is tomorrow, Independence Day. Um, so I think it's going to be happening pretty soon. And this is what I'm gonna tell you guys to, um, in order to make a bunch of stubs off of this, I would recommend whatever cards you pull. If you guys, if you guys decide to pull this pack, do not sell who you pull. If you guys have cards that you want to sell, don't sell them. Hold on to your cards for now because they are really cheap. Once the stub sale hits, remember the inflation is going to go up. Now, this is really interesting. It's different than we've seen with past stub sales like last year and the ones that we've seen this year because, you know, the market's never hit this low. The market is the, you know, the cheapest, the lowest that it has been all year. I can't see it getting much cheaper. Cheaper unless um, they add new headliners, which I don't know. I'm going to talk about that a little bit later. But what I would suggest you guys to do, if you guys have cards to sell, hold on to them. And if you guys have stubs, if you guys have a lot of stubs in your bank that you are, you know, that you have willing to spend, I would recommend buy some cards now, sit on them, and once the stub sale hits, then you should be able to sell them and make quite a good amount of profit. For example, let's just look at a guy like Curtis Granderson right here. Let's say he's going for 50k right now. If you put a buy order in, buy him for 46,000 stubs, I could see, you know, Granderson, assuming that, you know, the stub sale at worst would be 40% off the highest pack, which has been the last two stub sales this year i would think maybe they would do a 50 percent, but nonetheless it is still going to really impact the market i could definitely see granderson going up into at least 60k so a 10k increase um so if you bought him for 46 sell him for 60 after taxes minus six that's 54 that is you know 8k turnaround 
pretty Thanos snap, you know, ASAP Rocky that you guys are going to get that. Of course, I'm not 100% confirmed that this stub sale is going to happen. Keep in mind that I'm not guaranteeing that this is going to happen. There's been no official word. I'm just saying historically they've done it and it makes perfect sense. Um, and I've seen tons of people throughout the community saying that this is bound to happen because the market is the cheapest that we've ever seen it so far in MLB The Show 19 or rather pretty much MLB any MLB the show I've never seen cards like you know of this you know great tier cards of this uh you know notoriety go for this cheap this early on in the year so I really do think this is going to happen if you guys have cards hold on to them make sure to sell them once a the stub sale hits because let me explain this because last time I did it I guess I didn't explain it good enough and some people question you know how is uh, a stub sale going to make cards go up in price think of it it's basic economics if the US government put more money into circulation money would have a lesser value you know prices things that you buy buy would you know inflate they would go for more and the same works on this market and will be the show is the most like a stock market out of any of the you know 2k madden any of those that we really have because you list them you it's like a single card and then there's listings under it rather than having you know separate cards that you have listings you know like on an auction house like you have for madden or 2k so if they have a stub sale if a bunch of people are buying it there's a lot more stubs in circulation cards are going to go down or cards are going to go up in price because there's a lot more stubs the inflation will hit and you know things are going to go up in price now what i was mentioning earlier about the headliner pack something that i'm kind of curious about let me know what you guys feel down below in the comment section i'm theorizing this could possibly take out the headliner pack because you know we saw the headliner pack come in i think it was tuesday of this time last week and i think we were all expecting that you guys know we also got brand new moments into the game for the fourth inning program by the way if you guys finish a fourth inning program quick tip sell it as quick as possible um because these are only going to go down in price now that the last one is out so if you get it go ahead and sell as far as buying it once again right now would probably be a pretty good time to buy the them as well because they are going for quite cheap right now is probably when you want to hit they're going for 52,000 which is really crazy in my opinion but getting back to what I was talking about I think we might see the end of headliners I think there were 14 set headliners we know we got one per week pretty much but now that they have this, which is a far bigger grab um, than the headliners were because, you know, you still have good odds, theoretically. One of ten odds, which, you know, I never thought were all that good. I didn't strike too hot on those headliners. A couple of times I pulled some pretty good stuff, but usually um, my success rate was not that high. Um, but with these, you're guaranteed a signature series diamond. Even if you pull the base tier, you can pick a 98 overall. Keith Hernandez, that granted only goes to like 20k, but he is a really good first baseman that, you know, if you have somebody, and I think this is a big thing for like packs, you know, in any game, the biggest thing that they're looking for is they want to see something, you know, even if this card goes for 20k, seeing a 98 overall that you can pull for sure, at least a 98 overall, that is very satisfying and that is motivating for people to open this and the fact that if you know you do strike which is still one of ten odds which is really good i gotta give them credit they gave the odds at pretty good pull rates for these cards which is like as al k line is great this kenley jansen is probably the best reliever that we have in the game so far i'm really happy that they did one of course show the pull rates this year i think that's a great step i'm glad that madden's done that as well i think 2k and the other ultimate team style and all the other loot box games gotta start doing that as well because it's only morally right it's the right thing to do but I think the fact that you're guaranteed, you know you're going to get something. It's not like a headliner pack, which granted cost, you know, a fifth of the price, basically. Um, you're not guaranteed anything higher than a silver card. These, you're going to see, you're going to get that instant gratification of pulling a high tier, high level diamond. So I kind of think they're going to replace the headliner packs with these, which makes me think the market is going to stay low this entire year and every time they add another one of these it could become like a weekly thing you know they just had the first one available on friday and now last night it was actually last night tuesday they had another one available 40,000 stubs 
I really think if this replaces the headliners, which is what I'm theorizing, the market is going to be very, very cheap and only get cheaper, but it will be saved at times when they do have stub sales. And once again, that is why I'm recommending that you guys uh, hold on to the cards that you guys want to sell, wait for the stub sale, sell them off, then you guys are going to make a lot more stubs off of it. And then also start buying up some diamonds, cards that I'd recommend. Don't buy up like, I know not everybody has the same amount of stubs in their bank. Don't buy like necessarily like these cards that go for like 6k. I don't really see their price going up that much. You can see there's very little variations and and the only reason that these cards have been going down is of course because these packs are within the XP reward path they show up pretty often I think you get 10 of them throughout the whole line so eventually they were going to really dip down into price I would recommend more so get like signature cards you know even like the cheaper ones I think that is more so what you're gonna want to do you know even if you have like 20k um buy somebody like an ian kinzer buy you know some of those cards that don't go for too much like a jimmy fox guys like that you know high tier flashback legend diamonds i'm not really too sure what's gonna happen with the live series um because they never really got hit all of that hard from once we had this pack the first time i guess they have gradually decreased but that's going to happen regardless it's tough to say but if i had to recommend anything i would say like higher you know legends and flashbacks you know like 96 95 97 cards that don't go for you know too much it always depends on how much stubs that you guys have in the bank once again this is not guaranteed this is not confirmed it's pretty much what i think is going to happen what the whole community thinks is going to happen so now would be the perfect time for you guys to start investing start buying some cards and once the stub sale eventually does hit because i'm pretty damn sure i would say i'm 99 sure 99.5 percent sure that this is going to happen happen sds would be making a really stupid decision if they decided not to have this stub sale business wise because they could make a killing with all the people that would be willing to buy stubs i already know it if they add another one of these available people are just going to want to cash in and it's going to be crazy so let me know down below in the comment section what do you guys think about this when do you think we'll see it how much are the stubs going to be reduced in price and everything of that sort if this video did help you make sure to leave a like down below hope you guys are great Today. There goes some Zaudi. Love is love and hate is hate. To die is an awesome adventure and I can hardly wait. Earth is a prison, I need a great escape. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space. You know I'm in my zone. You know I'm in my zone. I took a bite of the glory.